is at the topmost point of the sphere. What does it mean? It simply means that the potential at the center of the ring is 0. कैसे हो बच्चा पार्टी आज एक्चुअली कहीं मुझे एक इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स के ऊपर बड़ा अच्छा सा प्रॉब्लम दिख गया तो मैंने सोचा आपके साथ भी शेयर करूं और मैंने उसकी एक रिकॉर्डिंग कर दी क्वेश्चन कुछ ऐसा है ये एक कंडक्टिंग स्फीयर है मेटल स्फीयर है विच इज़ ग्राउंडेड एज कैन बी सीन इन दिस डाइग्राम देर इज़ अनदर कंडक्टिंग रिंग इट इज़ ए सेपरेट रिंग इट इज़ फार अवे फ्रॉम दी स्फीयर राइट नाउ it is a conducting ring and it is having charge capital q on it radius of this ring is capital r radius of this sphere is also given it is small r so there is a conducting sphere which is grounded which is earthed and there is a separate far away conducting ring which is carrying a charge q right now you wear gloves rubber gloves and bring this ring uh, close to the sphere and you place it like this the ring has been placed such that the ring has been placed such that its center coincides with the top of the sphere mind you the ring has been kept such that center of the ring is exactly at the top of the sphere this is the center of the ring yes this is what i am saying the center of the ring coincides with the top of the sphere right again listen to the question there is a grounded conducting sphere of radius small r there is no charge on the sphere there is far away ring having radius capital r it is also a metal ring it is carrying some charge capital q capital q is a given number now you bring the ring close to the sphere and place it like this uh, such that center of the ring lies at the topmost point of the sphere the question says how much charge will be induced on the sphere how much charge will be induced on the sphere that is your question students please pause the video and think over it it is quite interesting and it is not very difficult also so many of you would be able to find the answer on your own and that will give you a thrill so why not try yourself give it a try here i am doing uh, it for everybody the ring carries a charge capital q okay the ring has been placed symmetrically with respect to the sphere so no matter what the charge on the ring will remain distributed uniformly isn't it on its circumference though this hardly matters in this question but still this is a point i would like to highlight that the charge on the ring will still remain uniformly distributed because uh, the situation is very symmetric this point of the ring is no different from this point or this point so charge on the ring will remain uh, symmetrically distributed okay uh, that may not have much relevance as far as this question is concerned but still it is a point okay now the question says that center of the ring is at the topmost point of the sphere what does it mean it simply means that the potential at the center of the ring is zero because the sphere is grounded therefore the whole sphere is at zero potential isn't it so the whole sphere is at zero potential uh, so the this topmost point of the sphere is also at zero potential and there lies the center of the ring so at one point we cannot have two different potentials so obviously center of the ring is at zero potential now please look at this diagram earlier when the ring was far away from the sphere the potential at the center of the ring is not zero of course uh, potential here will be k 1 by 4 pi epsilon not k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by r this will be potential at the uh, center of the ring when there is uh, no other charge in the immediate vicinity isn't it but as soon as you place this ring on top of that sphere in the manner described in the problem uh, the potential here becomes zero because uh, the potential of the entire sphere 
will always remain 0, it is grounded. So, potential at the center of the ring becomes 0. Interesting, is not it? How can it become 0? Now, there are two charges. One is the charge on the ring and there is some charge induced on this sphere. Let me call it as small q. Who has given this charge to the sphere? Of course, earth has supplied uh, this charge to the sphere, right. And the purpose of supplying this charge is to ensure that the whole sphere is always at 0 potential, right. So, now this charge, this charge may be distributed in some uh, strange manner, uh, which is very difficult to figure out actually, how this charge q is distributed on the surface of the sphere. It is not exactly uniformly distributed. So, it will be a Herculean task if you ask me how this charge is distributed on the surface of the sphere, I will not be able to answer. So, when I do not know how this charge is distributed on the surface of the sphere, it will be very difficult for me to write potential due to this charge at this particular point. It is going to be very difficult. But thanks God, the whole sphere is conducting and we all know that a conductor has one unique potential. That means, every point on a conductor has got same potential. So, whatever is potential at this particular point, the same will be potential at the center of the sphere also, is not it? So, whatever is potential at this particular point, we will have same potential at the center of the sphere also. And center of the sphere or this point or any other point on the sphere is at 0 potential. What I am trying to say is, it is easy to write potential at the center of the sphere and equate it to 0, because a sphere is conducting, it is grounded, so its potential is 0. Every point has put 0 potential. So, this means that this particular point is also at 0 potential. This particular point is having potential because of charge on the ring, because of charge on the sphere, they add up to 0. But it is difficult to write potential at this point because of this charge. So, what I will do is, I will write potential at the center of the sphere because of both the charges. Both the charges means small q and capital Q and it is very easy and some of these two potentials will be 0. Now, it does not matter how this charge small q is distributed on the surface of the sphere. It really does not matter whether it is uniform or non-uniform because this entire charge q is at distance small r from the center of the sphere. So, I hope all of you understand that if charge q is placed evenly or non-uniformly on this surface, then potential due to this charge at the center will be k, k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r. So, the induced charge will produce this much amount of potential and what is potential due to ring charge at the center of the sphere? It is also not very difficult to find because uh, this point is lying on the axis of the ring. This is the radius capital R and this is the radius small r. So, every point on the ring circumference of the ring, every point on the circumference of the ring is at a distance x where x is under root r square plus r square. So, every point on the circumference of this ring, every point on the circumference of, of this ring is at this much distance from the center of the sphere. So, this capital Q charge will produce a potential here that will be given by k q by under root of r square plus r square. In fact, all of you uh, do remember this formula actually, how to write potential on the axis of a charged ring. The same thing uh, has been said here, because of this capital Q red charge uh, at a distance r from the center of the ring on its axis, the potential can be written like this. So, potential due to this induced charge is this much, potential due to the charge on the ring is this much and some of these two must be 0, because this whole sphere is at 0 potential, it is earthed. So, from here you get the value of small q and that solves the question. There is q r under root r square plus r square. This is our final answer. So, charge induced on the sphere, overall charge induced on the sphere will be negative of the charge that is present on the ring. Students, I hope you have understood this question. Thank you for watching this video.
please do like the video if you have really liked it and keep sharing with your friends thank you